Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified. Now we are going to see problems. Listen to the question carefully. Two bodies have a mass of ratio 3 is to 4. Mass as they have given in ratio, I am writing mass as m1 is to m2 is equal to 3 is to 4. The force applied on the bigger mass, they are applying the force on the bigger mass. What is the bigger value here? 4 is the bigger value. So they are applying the force on the bigger mass produces an acceleration. So for 4, the acceleration is 12 meter per second square. So acceleration A1 is to A2 is equal to for 4 only they have given acceleration as 12. For 3, they didn't give which we have to find. So I am taking it as capital X, the unknown value. And for 4, they have given the acceleration as 12. Okay. What could be the acceleration of the other body if same force? You should under, underline this same force. So, F should be common. What, what formula we do know? Force is equal to mass into acceleration. We are having M1 is to M2. So, I am writing it twice. F is equal to MA. How, how many masses? We have two masses. Mass 1, mass 2. And acceleration also a1 a2 okay the value of m1 is 3 the value of m2 is 4 a1 is the unknown value which we have to find the value of a2 is 12 we have to substitute they have said clearly same force so f we should not write it as f1 f2 Substitute in the place of M1. What is the value of the M1 here? 3. What is the value of A1? X. Unknown value. We have to find. Again, force is equal to M2. M2 is 4 into A2. We know 12. What is the force is same, right? So, we are going to equate. Left hand side are equal. So, right hand side also should be equal. 3 into unknown value X is equal to 4 into 12 into 12 we have to find the x right so fix x this side 4 into 12 divided by 3 will be coming to the denominator cancel 3 1s are 3 3 4s are 12 4 into 4 is 16 so the acceleration of for 3 is 16 meter per second square We are going to discuss the next problem. Listen to the question. A ball of a mass 1 kg. I am going to consider a ball. It has a mass of 1 kg. Moving with the speed of the ball, it is moving with the speed of initial velocity, right? So, u is equal to 10 meter per second. After 10 meter per second rebounds. So after hitting the floor, it is rebounding with the speed of. So it is said to be final velocity. V is equal to, they didn't mention the value. It is going at a speed of 10 meter per second. So it is coming with the speed of the same 10 meter per second. But it is coming in the opposite direction. So instead of plus 10 meter per second, I am going to take it as minus. Why? Because the ball, it is hitting the floor. It is rebounding in the opposite direction. So I am taking the value as the same value as minus 10 meter per second. Calculate the change in linear momentum. So given mass is equal to 1 kg initial velocity 10 meter per second final velocity minus 10 why because it is rebounding in the opposite direction they are asking us to find change in momentum we have already discussed under the momentum topic change in linear momentum what is the formula for the momentum? Mass into velocity. But here we have initial and final velocity. So I am writing 
mass into final velocity minus that is the formula right we have to subtract from the final velocity to the initial velocity so m final velocity minus m initial velocity the mass of the ball will be the same why because the same ball of a mass 1 kg is going down after hitting the ball the same ball only rebounding so mass value will never change mass remains same now we want to substitute what is the mass 1 final velocity value is minus 10 the same minus i am writing here mass 1 kg initial velocity 10 multiple 1 into minus 10 minus 10 minus 1 into minus 10 minus 10 minus into minus plus we have to add minus 10 plus 10 20 what is the unit for the momentum for mass kg for velocity meter per second so the answer for change in linear momentum of the ball is minus 20 kg meter per second the ratio of masses of two planet masses they have given as 2 is to 3 m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 is to 3 and the ratio of the radii, radius r1 is to r2 is equal to 4 is to 7. They are asking us to find the ratio of acceleration due to gravity. Under the topic of a relationship between small g and capital G, we have derived the formula for acceleration due to gravity. G is equal to capital G capital M divided by r square g universal gravitational constant mass and radius okay we have to find it in ratio so i am writing as g1 g2 is equal to g m divided by r square as i am written g1 mass 1 radius 1 m2 r2 g i cannot write g1 g2 why because it is a constant value we have to find acceleration due to gravity in ratio. Ratio is nothing but G1 by G2. It is nothing but G1 is to G2. Substitute in the place of G1. G M1 divided by R1 square whole divided by G M2 divided by R2 square. So G m1 divided by r1 square into the r2 square will be going to the numerator r2 square divided by g m2 g g will get cancelled the remaining is m1 r2 square divided by m2 r1 square substitute what is the value of m1 the value of m1 is the value of m1 is 2 the value of m2 is 3 the value of r1 is 4 the value of r2 is 7 so what is the value of uh, m1 the value of m1 is 2 the value of r2 is 7 the whole square divided by the value of m2 is 3 the value of r1 square is 4 the whole square so 2 7 7s are 49, 3 4 4s are 16, cancel. How many times in 2 table 16, 2 1s are 2, 2 8s are 16. So 49 divided by 3 into 8 is equal to 49 divided by 24. Therefore, the ratio of acceleration due to gravity G1 is to G2 is equal to 49 is to 24. This is nothing but G1 divided by G2. Now, we are going to see about moment of the force. See, you consider this as a spanner and I am going to lose this spanner. The turning effect, this is fixed to point, right? I am going to apply the force here the rotating or turning effect of a force about a fixed point this is the fixed point this is said to be moment of the force moment of the force is also known as torque which is represented by the symbol tau this is said to be the tau symbol torque is represented by the symbol called tau 
moment of force is measured as product what are all the things see the product of force and the distance how the distance it is said to be the perpendicular distance right here it is a fixed point and I am applying the force so that the spanner will rotate one side so I am applying the force onto the spanner so it is measured by the product of force and the perpendicular distance between the fixed point and the line of action of force so moment of force is measured by force into perpendicular distance unit of force is newton unit of distance is meter so the unit of moment of force is newton meter okay we have discussed about moment of force so based on that we are going to solve this problem a mechanic unscrew a nut by applying the force of 140 newton see force they have given us 140 newton with a spanner of length 40 centimeter what is the length they have given length is equal to 40 centimeter what should be the length of the spanner if the force of if we apply the force of 40 newton what will be the length of the spanner which we have to find right i am naming it as f1 l1 f2 l2 we don't know l2 we have to find it out right what is the formula for the moment of force f into d they are going to unscrew the same net so f into d is equal to f into d distance is nothing but the length so instead of distance you can write it as length no problem okay see f1 l1 f2 l2 we have to find what is l2 we have to substitute the value of f1 l1 f2 l2 okay before substituting see length they have given in centimeter we have to convert it into meter okay so 40 to convert centimeter into meter what we have to do divided by 100 so you can write it as 40 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter okay now you can substitute why we, why we are converting we will be writing every terms usually in meters but they have given in centimeter so we are converting the centimeter into meter before substituting the values in the formula okay substitute in the place f1 140 l1 you should not write 40 centimeter we have converted into meter right we have to substitute that 40 into 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to f240 l2 we don't know we have to find fix l2 bring 40 from that side to this side here it is in multiplication when it is coming to this side it will be going in division right 140 into 40 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 40 is coming to the denominator 40 40 will get cancelled 140 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter this is the answer but see to the question carefully they have given the values in centimeter again we have to convert meter into centimeter to convert meter into centimeter what we have to do we have to multiple into 100 right if you multiple with 100 you will get the final answer as 140 centimeter so when the force of 40 newton is applied the length of the spanner will be 140 centimeter. So we have successfully completed the first unit of 10th physics amateur. If you have any doubts to be clear, you can comment below. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you.